back everyone my name is Jared Beckwith and today we're going through deep traffic which is a part of MIT's deep learning course for self-driving cars and one of the projects in the course is you have to come up with a neural network that can drive one or up to ten cars I got it driving ten cars right now just about it looks like other agents see right here other agents 10 so I got to drive in about 10 cars right now uh, my car can see two lanes to the side it can see 15 patches ahead they can see seven patches behind and it's going through a lot of train iterations right now it's going through 50,000 train iterations so this is my neural network right now um, I'm trying to I'm testing it out to see how <clears throat> I'm testing it out to see how good it actually is we will see this is the first one I tried I found some I found some code on this website it seemed alright so I decided to check it out it seemed to be going a lot faster before this recording. Okay, it's speeding up again. It's getting back up to 80 miles an hour. That's That sounds more like it. Because if you guys don't know, I've done this challenge before. But I got in about the top 20% of the MIT competition. But this code, he says, comes in the top 2%. So that would be crazy. So he decided to use 384 neurons. I think the model might be too big because it says here that the limit is a hundred thousand. But three hundred eighty-four neurons, fully connected layer. That's what the FC is, and he chose a tan H activation function, which is which is um, something to think about. Um, I'd yeah, I'd usually go with the the ReLU activation function, but tan H is something to think about. So I wanted to test it out and see see how the code ended up working out. That's the great thing about open source code. People put their code out there, and you can see their different solutions. So this is this person towards data science. 75 mile per hour solution it could put him in the top two percent of the deep traffic traffic competition although the model does seem to be a little bit higher than the limit let's see if it actually ends up being in the top two percent from what i've tried because it's looking at about it's looking about 70 okay 80 miles an hour the 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 cars are keeping up good pace this is with 10 cars too the first video that i had i was only maneuvering one car and i didn't know as much about deep learning and reinforcement learning as i do today so i should be able to have a better output especially since i found a better tutorial to help implement and open source code it should be way better than the last time I just want to wait until this bar finishes and then we can see exactly how good is this neural network let's see exactly what he did here so it's a regression problem, 10H activation function, which again is peculiar. I, re I usually use the ReLU activation function, 384 neurons. Okay, that's a good size of neurons. Uh, learning rate, that's pretty standard, 0 0.001, that's a pretty standard learning rate. 32 batch size, okay. Okay, I can, I can understand that. Maybe that could be improved, I don't know. Optimal gamma 0.9. Yeah, it's, I'd say in 0.9. Maybe, maybe it could be a little higher and see better results. That is something to test at least, but I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the entire al algorithm. So it looks like it's finishing up on testing right here. And I'm really excited to see the results because it looks like it's going at 80 miles an hour right now. It's past 623 cars. And this is 10 cars 
at once controlled by an artificial intelligence algorithm. This is super powerful. Wow, and it's about to finish. It's about to finish. 71 miles an hour. It's an average. 71.45 miles an hour. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he got. 75.01. Seven, okay, so we got a little bit slower. A little bit slower, but a super fast score. So I'm super proud of this score. Um, if you guys can get a better score, let me know. If I think if I let it, the model train longer, because I didn't let the model train long at all. If I let the model train with more iterations, I think it would get up to more of that 75 mile an hour status with the 10 cars. So I'm going to have to try that in the future. If you guys want to see any more deep learning, machine learning videos, I can teach you guys. I don't know the most, but I know a little bit. And I feel like I, I can at least teach the basics. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and make sure you're ready for new videos.